Chief Little John was the one who had to leave the Cherokees on the Trail of Tears. Be he didn't want to leave them on the Trail of Tears. Why? Because he felt bad for them being forced out of their homes. Andrew Jackson wrote a letter to Martin Van Buren discussing the nullification crisis, which happened in 1832 to 1833. When this letter would be delivered, it was from the Rocky Ways. I really wanted to open the letter, but I knew if I did, it would go to well for the Andrew Jackson was kind of urgent to get this letter to Martin Van Buren. Cherokees made their constitution. It was filled with their own laws of their own Cherokee nation. This, they made it so everybody knew their laws of the Cherokee nation. It's made out of square timbers, and it was also made for protection against small Indians, which they attacked in 1837. I was there. I got scared, so I hid in the bushes watching, so they didn't find me. Luckily, they didn't, or I wouldn't be talking to you today. They still, when they burned down the blockhouse, they still have peoples and openings from where people were. They shoot the fire rifles safely out of the blockhouse. J.C. Conhoon was Vice President of Jackson Line. Conhoon got the reputation as a political theorist by a redefinition of the Conhoon to include approval of slavery and the minor minority rights. In the southern states, the minor is a question to protect minor rights against the majority. He called for it, concurrent majority by the law. The majority could sometimes pull off the offense of the The state felt unfree or their sovereign power. When JC Kumbhul made this happen, I was surprised by the way it went. Thank you. 